In the prior video, we covered what dunning management is and how it relates to your subscription business. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can configure dunning campaigns within your Recurly site to maximize your recovered revenue. Your dunning campaigns can be found under the Configurations tab on the left-hand menu under Dunning Campaigns. From there, you will see all of the dunning campaigns you've already configured, you can set a default campaign, edit an existing one, or create a new one. Let's create a new dunning campaign. To do this, start by clicking the Create Campaign button in the upper right-hand corner of the page. In the interest of time, I'll jump to one that I already begun to pre-configure. The first step to configuring a Dunning campaign is to set a name and Dunning campaign code which you'll use to identify the specific Dunning campaign within your Recurly environment. If you're creating Dunning campaigns which you want to use for specific plans, you can select the specific plans from the menu below which will assign this Dunning campaign as the default for the selected plans. When configuring your Dunning campaigns, you'll notice that Recurly supports a few different types of Dunning options. We have Dunning options that are specific to free trial Dunning, essentially what happens when a customer's renewal declines at the end of the trial. We also offer Dunning settings that are specific to automatic collection invoices as well as for manual collection invoices. All three types of Dunning share the same key principles. You'll want to start off by configuring the number of emails that you want to send out during the Dunning period. From there, you can also adjust the specific timing of those emails as well as configure multiple different email templates to send a different notification as the Dunning progresses. You'll also want to select what happens at the end of Dunning if the past due invoice is not paid at the end of the Dunning cycle. Once you have selected all of your desired settings, hit the button to create the campaign at the bottom of the page. Once you create the Dunning campaign, you will see it in the list of Dunning campaigns here. If you click on a Dunning campaign in the list, it will pull up the specific settings for that Dunning campaign. From there, you can view those settings, make additional modifications, or set it as your site's default Dunning campaign. When it comes to Dunning, the email communications that you choose to send to your customers play a key role in the overall success of your Dunning campaign. To view your email template settings or make adjustments, navigate under the Configuration tab on the left-hand menu, select Email Templates, and scroll to the bottom to see the different Dunning campaign emails. When it comes to Dunning email templates, you'll notice a few different templates. For free trial Dunning, you'll want to configure some of the post-trial payment decline email templates. For automatic invoices in Dunning, you'll want to configure the payment decline email templates. For manual invoices in Dunning, you'll want to configure the invoice past due email templates. If you plan to expire the subscription for non-payment at the end of the Dunning cycle, you can also configure your expired for non-payment email templates. Another thing to keep in mind when configuring your Dunning email templates is that you can configure multiple templates with increasing urgency as it gets closer to the end of the Dunning cycle. You can also use this if you plan to configure different Dunning campaigns for your different plans and want to have different messaging within those templates. You can assign a default Dunning campaign for your site level, a default Dunning campaign for specific plans, but did you know you can also assign a Dunning campaign at an account level? This is useful if you want to assign specific Dunning campaigns only for a handful of accounts. To assign a Dunning campaign to a specific account is relatively simple within Recurly. When using the UI, navigate under the Customers tab on the left-hand menu, click on Accounts, and pull up the desired accounts. Once you are on the Account Detail page, locate the Account Information box on the right-hand side. Click on the Edit button, and from there, scroll down till you see a drop-down to select the desired Dunning campaign. An important tip when configuring your Dunning campaigns is to make sure your Dunning campaign isn't longer in duration than the plan itself. If you want to offer a longer Dunning campaign, say for annual subscribers versus monthly subscribers, Dunning campaigns is a great way to approach this as you can configure multiple different Dunning campaigns and assign it based on plan. Dunning campaigns and the flexibility around them allow you as a merchant to maximize your recovered revenue by configuring the most optimal Dunning campaigns for your different plans and subscriber bases. It is another way that Recurly helps you keep a good thing growing.